Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here. I just want to do a quick video on some things that have happened, uh, you know, a little bit over the weekend. Uh, the biggest thing probably being Phil Spencer, who's like basically the head of Xbox, you know, talking about Halo, Halo Infinite, all that cool stuff, as well as some things that may be leaked coming in the future seasons, including cross core armor coating so we'll get to that part in the little second half of the video this video is gonna be really quick and also if you like quick news videos that aren't 10 minutes long with ads in the middle of them talking about the same thing over and over and over again make sure you subscribe to the channel i would love to hit 15k subs this year so help a brother out Anyways, let's get into the video really quick. Phil Spencer said that Halo will remain critically important to what Xbox is doing, and 343 is critically important to the success of Halo. Now, like everything we talk about on this channel when it comes to 343 and Halo and the turmoil that has been happening recently, a lot of this stuff might be PR speak. It might just be kind of damage control. So... We take it with a grain of salt, but this is official communication from, like, the highest of the high ups. So, the interviewer basically asked, you know, 343 had to come out with a statement saying what their role is going forward. Can you shed more light on that? And Phil said that Halo and 343 will always be iconic for Xbox. He talks about how the game launched and how he thought it was fantastic. But there were some missteps over the last year that was made by the team. So, you know, going forward... They want to fix that. He talks about Pierre and how he's worked on Halo for a long time, helped turn around the Master Chief collection, and that the team has a very good plan. They want to make sure that the leadership team is set up with the flexibility that they need to make Halo move forward. He talks about the other studios helping with things and says that that's just part of the development process. But the heart and soul of Halo is with 343 and the team that's there. And I have the utmost confidence in the team. The interviewer then asks about the 10-year plan for Halo Infinite and new story content and asks Phil if that's still the plan. He doesn't really talk about Halo Infinite, but he says that we'll continue to support and grow Halo for as long as the Xbox is a platform for people to play. So whatever that timeline is, it's going to line up with Xbox, Halo. So yeah, I guess it's a 10-year plan, but maybe not for Infinite. He gets asked about the Halo TV series and if it can rise to the level of The Last of Us and the second season. And Phil kind of says that, you know, absolutely. They want to make sure that they are showing up with their best creative ideas. But he kind of dances around that question. Phil also said that he wants 343 to talk more about the plans they have in the future. He also says that they have other things, some rumored, some announced that they'll be working on. Uh, so that's kind of, you know, is that a hint at a BR? One of the best follows on Twitter is Seraja, so definitely follow them. But they tweeted, definitely expect some major changes to Infinite Store customization in Season 3. And, you know, going forward, rarity system rework, repeats, and new content being properly done, etc. Also, more monetization items might be coming in Season 3 as well, such as horns, intro animations. But he says probably delayed. The letter B on Twitter also tweeted a picture. Um, I'm not sure who they're talking to or if this is even from him or her. Uh, but they said, I myself am a big Mark V B fan. And I have actually been playing around with making more reach coding. So I can say at the moment we're working on completely overhauling how codings work so that we can make them faster, easier, and so that they can be cross-core. So again, it looks like Season 3 is going to be pretty fun uh, coming up. I can't wait, to be completely honest. I just need more maps. I hope that they get the Forge map playlist thing set up because we desperately need that. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I will catch you around the ring. Peace!